fellow hams. Well, here's the next bit of bench work I get to work on today. This is a Ham 4, Ham-4 antenna rotor. Uh, quite an old one, probably 25, 30 years old. And uh, it just needs to be lubricated. And might need some bearing work. Um, might need, uh, well, it needs lubrication. Okay, sometimes the brake is sticking, but it's releasing now. But listen to it when I rotate it. So you can hear it's quite noisy. It sounds absolutely dry, like there's no lubrication left in there at all. So I'm going to uh, open it up. Now, this has a large ring bearing in this area here, all the way around. It's a big ball bearing. So I'm going to make a little jig so that I can uh, stick this on a pipe and have it sitting here in a box. And we'll take the bottom off and uh, hopefully not lose any of the ball bearings balls. So I'll get the jig made up and uh, get it ready to come apart and then I'll uh, fire the camera back up. Well, we got her apart. Here's my jig. You can see I've got a stand there to hold the uh, rotor stable vertically so that I can work on it. Took the bottom housing off. In there is the brake assembly. Got a solenoid that fires out a blade. Over here on this side, you can see this blade that uh, fires out and locks into ridges in the bell. And these are the bearings, and uh, they are completely dry. If there was grease there at one time, it's turned to powder. So I'm going to very carefully remove those bearings and uh, clean the races on both the bell and this part. And then down underneath here is the uh, driver assembly for the rotor. So we'll have to lift this out and uh, lubricate the uh, mechanism there. And then uh, once we've got that all lubricated and greased, we'll put this back in. We'll clean the bearings, put the race back in with some fresh grease, and then put the bell housing back on, and uh, we should be done. So it's just basically a clean and lube drive motor metal drive gears here. Free floating on shafts with some old grease in there so we'll, uh, we'll re-grease that. And this is the ring gear that drives the uh, bell around. It sits on these tabs. And what I did to make sure the calibration doesn't change is I marked the inside of the bell. Yeah, you can't see that. I put a mark on the inside of the bell and on the outside of the housing um, here that line up so I know which tooth which I think it's this one. Is it got my mark on it? Yeah, it's got my mark on it. That one goes on the far side where I've marked it, so I can line it back up when I put it back in. As long as I don't shift anything while I grease it, we uh, should be fine on calibration. We'll have to worry about anything changing there. So uh, This is a, uh, a brush wiper up here that contacts the uh, top of the bell, and these, this is the potentiometer that measures um, which way you're pointing. That, floats, that brush floats on there so this rotates around it and this, this locks it in place at the bottom of the bell. So these teeth have to line up with the uh, notch in the bottom of the bell so that holds this in place and as the bell rotates it turns this brush. So that'll be the only thing I really got to focus on when I put this back together to make sure that that's lining up with the teeth inside the bell. And uh, probably clean this too and clean the inside contact. Okay, well now the dirty work, cleaning it up and greasing it and then getting it all back together. All right, I'll show you how I'm doing this. The grease comes in a tube that you're supposed to use with a grease gun. What I got is a little brush and what I'm doing is I'm just taking the brush and I'm just basically painting the raceway with grease. You know, just getting a nice even coating there. And then I'll put the bearings in and I'll paint over the top of the bearings the same way. And then I'll paint the bottom race down on the bell. And if we uh, scroll down here, you can see where I've painted the gears and the ring gear around there. And then I'll just paint this raceway before I set the bell back in there. And the top of the bearings before I put the bell back in there. And then we'll do the same on the uh, top race 
before we put the bell back together. And uh, that should really quiet everything down real good. And when I paint this race, I'll get a little bit along that seam on the ring gear there where it uh, has a little play like that, you see. So that'll uh, smooth all that out. This thing should be really nice and quiet when we're all done. I've already cleaned the contacts here with a regular old contact cleaner and cleaned the uh, rheostat and I've cleaned the uh, mating surface inside the bell where these contacts ground. So that should uh, make a nice clean electrical connection. So this is uh, coming right along. I won't, be, I won't be done before too long here. This is uh, going pretty quick. The bearings are on split races and I've put them here in a box just in case any of the balls decide to try and escape before I put them back in but uh, they're pretty well put together as long as you handle them carefully the balls don't come out and you'll just set that back in the race and then a little paint of grease over the top of it before I put the bell back in uh, this, is, uh, this isn't going to take too much longer I think I'll be done with this in about an hour Just painting the grease on the bearings, just like painting a wall. You get a nice even coating of grease. Of course, as it operates, it'll spread it all around in there. But it'll all stay contained within the race. And uh, we should have really smooth operation. Go. I'm ready to clean the top brace and put the bell back on. Alright, we've got her all back together. And uh, not only does it sound smoother, but I think it's actually turning faster. It's still noisy, but it's, you know, it's a big engine and it's big metal gears. But it's nowhere near as noisy as it was and it's much smoother. And listen. Hear how nice and even that is? And the other limit switch. Right about there. Yep. Okay, well that's it. That's how you lubricate a ham four rotor. Thanks for watching.